In this video, we'll be looking at how to determine the grain or crystal size of the rock that you are studying. Now, one of the most important tools you'll be using here is this. This is called a magnifying glass or a hand lens. Now, some rocks, such as this one here, the grains and crystals, which would be these black things here, and then some of these pink things here, as well as some of the gray and white things around here, they are so easy to see, you don't even need to look closely or even use a magnifying lens. You can easily see these large objects that make this up. So when the grains are very easy to see, you would say that these are large. All right. Now next up, we have this rock. Now if you just looked quickly at this, it might look like this is all just evenly dark gray or black. But if you study it a little more closely, you might notice that there are certain parts of it that sparkle in the light. And you can see they're much smaller than in our last rock. So in this case, it might help to use a hand lens or a magnifying glass. Now most people incorrectly use these magnifying glasses. What they do is they take it and they bring it right up to their face like this, and then bring the rock real close, and they think they're getting, getting a magnified view. But actually, you're just holding it close. So I'm going to move the hand lens out of the way. And you'll notice the rock stays about the same size with or without the magnifying glass. So instead of holding this right up to your face, what you want to do instead is hold it out at arm's length. Put the rock that you're looking at underneath there. And then slowly bring the hand lens up like this. And you should see that rock looking bigger and bigger. And now, if I take that hand lens and move it out of the way, you can see just how much it's magnifying. Now, if I keep bringing it closer, you'll see it doesn't continue getting bigger and bigger forever. It actually stops working really well. So you'll find there's a sweet spot where it gets maximum magnification. And if I move it out of the way, you can see how much bigger it is there. And this will help you look at those grains that make this up. Now this may not show up very well on camera, but you'll see what it looks like in real life. Now these types of grains, where you can see them if you use a hand lens or if you focus really, really closely, these would be medium or small grains here. And lastly, this rock here, even when you look at it very, very closely, and even when you study it with a hand lens, you may not be able to see the individual grains. So these would be grains that are about the size of a grain of sand or smaller. These are very small grains. And you can feel that the surface is rough with your finger, but you may not be able to make out individual grains at all. So in this video, what we did was took a look at how to determine the size of the grains or crystals that make up your rock. We saw that large grains and crystals are easy to see with your eyes. Medium or small ones require you to focus a bit or use a hand lens. And to do that, you hold them both at arm's length and then slowly bring the hand lens up toward you, but not too far. That's uh, medium or small. And then small or very small grains would be ones that you can't even necessarily see, even with the hand lens. Your job now is to study the rocks that you were given and determine the grain size of each one.